First one is Easy Miso Ramen. This ramen is extremely easy to make, yet it delivers the rich flavor of miso ramen from a restaurant. These are bean sprouts used as toppings. The bean sprouts have a really nice crunchy texture and are a classic topping for miso ramen. After boiling for 1.5 minutes, drain off the water through re. Next, mince green onion. I use it as a topping, and after this, I fry it with miso and use it in the soup. Next, let's make ramen soup. By the way, in the video, I make it portion for one person. Put grated ginger, garlic. You can of course use fresh ginger and garlic. Add minced green onion and sesame oil. Warm it up a little and add ground pork. A little bit of meat adds so much flavor. I think you could put sausage in it too. When the meat is almost cooked, add more seasonings. Put miso paste. This is rice miso used for miso soup. I have two kinds of miso in the fridge, so I put both in. Total is one and a half tablespoons. This dark color one is soybean miso. One type of miso can also be used to make a delicious ramen. Put chicken stock powder, soy sauce, sake, sugar, and oyster sauce. Oyster sauce can be skipped if you do not have it. Or water. Heat on medium heat and stir well. Dissolve miso three. The miso I use has dashi in it. The ramen made with this miso are very tasty, so if you have a dashi powder, you might want to add a half teaspoon of it. Of course, it's perfectly fine without it. Add chili pepper, cayenne pepper powder as you like. Reheat just before serving. Next, boil the noodles in plenty of water. These noodles were boiled for 3 minutes. Follow the package instructions and drain the water. Heat ramen soup well. It's best done while the noodles are boiling. Serve the soup in the bowl. Put the noodles in spot. This is the meat that was in the soup. Green onion. Corn. Boiled egg. It's also delicious topped with a little butter. This was really good. Better than the miso ramen I had at the restaurant the other night. You should definitely try it at least once. Next one is crispy tempura udon. Kamaboko boiled fish cake is standard udon topping. The other toppings can be just green onions, but today we will also add spinach. My husband likes hot udon or soba noodles with spinach. Boil spinach for 1 minute. Drain and squeeze water out through really when cooled. These are vegetables for tempura, sliced onion, and shred carrot. These two vegetables are essential to the tempura dish called kakiyage, and they are all you need to make it very tasty. To make the tempura even better, I add shrimp. You can use eggs to make tempura butter, but today we will simply make it with flour, potato starch, and water. Mix through it. When made this way, no butter is wasted. Drop this amount into the oil. If chopsticks are not easy to use, you can use a large spoon or spatula. Fry for 2 to 3 minutes on each side. It's okay if the carrots and onions on the surface are slightly charred and feel light and crispy when scooped up with chopsticks. Next, let's make udon soup. Put water, soy sauce, sake, sugar, dash powder, 
This recipe is for those who do not have mirin. If you have mirin, replace sake and sugar with mirin. These udon noodles are already boiled, so you can just lightly warm them up. Boil for 2 minutes and it's done. Serve it in a bowl. Put pakiyage, kamaboko, green onion, and spinach. It's best to eat kakiyage tempura while dipping it in the soup. Next one is addictive juicy beef udon. It's a simple yet addictive recipe that you will want to make right away. First, oil the pan and cook the beef. Beef is most recommended. But I think it will also be delicious made with chicken or pork. When the beef is about half cooked, add sake, mirin, soy sauce, and sugar. Mix lightly. Then add udon noodles. If you use fresh noodles, boil them in advance. In that case, boiling time should be a little shorter because of frying here. Stir fry the udon while allowing the udon to absorb this sauce. Finally, add minced green onions to taste. Later, I will add it as a topping, but it tastes better if it's cooked a little here. You can add any vegetables you like. But the simple ingredients of just meat and green onions are extremely tasty. I tend to add more vegetables, but my husband was delighted because he likes this style best. Put extra green onion, egg yolk, please make fried egg instead if you like, red pickled ginger, and bonita flakes. My husband enjoyed it so much that he wanted to eat it every week. Please give it a try. Next one is authentic somen noodles. First, we prepare the toppings. You can actually use your favorite condiment and vegetables, but today I want to use okra and myoga ginger. Okra is rubbed with salt to remove surface hairs. Let's stand for one minute and then cook in boiling water. This is Myoga. It's a member of the ginger family. Mix them. Myoga goes great with so many noodles, so hope you could try it someday. When you boil okra, it will float, so you can use chopsticks to restrain it from time to time. Cook for about 2 minutes. Drain and cool slightly. Cut off the okra stems and thinly slice them. Okra is a little sticky and crunchy and is very tasty when added to salmon noodles in soup. Condiments are ready, minced green onion, shredded eggs, and cucumbers are also a great side dish for salmon. Next, let's make the soup. Pour water, soy sauce, mirin, sugar, and dash powder. If you do not have mirin, substitute sake and sugar as described above. This is a soup for eating cold somen noodles while dipping, so it has a thicker flavor. Note that you may need to dilute this soup more if you are eating it with soup in a large bowl. Bring to a slight boil to mix seasonings well. Today we will eat cold somen noodles, so I'll let this soup cool down through me. で、今日これは何ですか時間がない時は朝ごはんとかね。いいよね。うん。あ、だから
いいし何のトッピングが好き、うん、きゅうりの千切りあきゅうり買ってないけど<笑>でみょうがあみょうがはあるあ面白いねそあとそばと全然違くてねこれ何できるのってこれはねえー、っと小麦粉と食塩と油美味しいよね、うん、海外にあるのそうね海外どうだろうねそば、ね、とかうどんの方が有名だけどそのブランドあイボノイトね、うん、アマゾンとか売ってるのかなイボノイトアマゾンで売ってるかなちょっと見てみようかおすすめだよ、うん、ちょっとなんかいっぱい食べちゃったよ翌日とかあとダイエットの人もいいんじゃないさらっとしてすごいこれヘルシーでしょヘルシーだね、うん、確かに By the way, this is a well known brand in Japan called Ibonoito, but it was quite expensive when I saw it on Amazon overseas, so you can also buy other easily available somen noodles. After boiling for 2 minutes, drain the water and wash through it with cold water. Put some ices in the bowl and place the somen noodles on top of it. You can also put somen noodles in ice water. そうめん tends to harden more easily after draining than うどん or そば so it's easier to eat when served this way it's a good way to eat そうめん noodles especially in the summer when they are nice and cold add ice to the dipping sauce too just pour in the soup when it's about room temperature please eat そうめん noodles with okra, みょうが green onion and so on in the dipping sauce Next one is authentic soba noodles. Here is the easiest but most delicious way to eat soba. The condiment is so simple, minced green onion. If you like nori seaweed, you will definitely enjoy this ready nori on your soba. Use scissors to cut as thin as possible like this. Today we will enjoy cold soba noodles just as we did with s o m e n noodles earlier, so the dipping sauce can be the same recipe as before. Add water. Soy sauce, mirin, sugar, and dash powder. Bring to a boil, mix well, and let cool. If you want to eat somen and soba with hot soup, you can use the same recipe for udon soup as described in the second section. Can you all buy soba at your local grocery store or Asian store? Any type would be great. Today I bought soba called Tororo soba, which is a type of soba with grated yam kneaded into it. It was nice and chewy, so delicious. Boiling time was 5 1/2 minutes for eating with dipping sauce. Stir the noodles occasionally. If you leave the soba over boiling water, It may boil over, so you should keep an eye on it while stirring. Wash it through in cold water. When eating with hot soup, wash them in cold water and then warm them in hot water just for a moment before adding them to the soup so that the soup temperature does not drop. The noodles are dipped in a small bowl of soup, just like s o m e n noodles. n o r i s e e d can be added more when eating. I forgot to take a video of it, but it's best eaten with a little wasabi on the side. The last one is most insanely delicious yakisoba, Japanese stir fry noodles. I showed this in another video, but my husband said it was good enough to be served at a restaurant, so I'll introduce it to you again. There are a few tips that come up to make your yakisoba as good as a street food, so don't miss them. As with stir fried udon earlier, the key is the small number of ingredients with a few vegetables. Cut cabbage into small pieces. I recommend using pork belly. Other meats can be substituted. I'll make the sauce ahead of time. Put Ustasha sauce, chicken stock powder, miso paste. Sugar and oyster sauce. The secret is to add miso and oyster sauce, it adds depth to the flavor. I use noodles specially made for yakisoba at the grocery store. You can substitute any noodle you are easily able to buy. 
It's easier to cook later by putting them in water to loosen them in advance. Drain off the water through it as oil will be used later. Put sesame oil. Any other oil is fine, but the key is to use 1 tablespoon of oil for one serving. Fry the noodles in more oil to crispy. Fry for 4 minutes to crisp up on one side. You should fry it while pressing it with a spatula so that many surfaces would be crunchy. Turn over and fry for 1 minute. By frying one side crispy and the other side normal, two different textures, crispy and chewy, can coexist. Remove the noodles once. Add just a little bit of oil and stir fry cabbage. When it gets a little soft, add pork. It tastes better if you cook the fatty part of the pork a little crispy. When they are cooked, put the noodles back in. Turn off the heat and add the sauce. Toss in the sauce while keeping the heat off. Do this so that the sauce does not evaporate before the noodles are covered with the sauce. Here, turn on the heat. Stir fry until the moisture is gone. Even when the noodles is dipped in the sauce, the crispy surface retains a nice texture. At the same time, the entire noodle is well loosened. Sprinkle ordinary dried green seaweed. Put beni shoga, red pickle ginger. As the title suggests, it's insanely delicious yakisoba. I hope you enjoy this flavorful and wonderfully textured noodle.